Hi, this is Paul from Domain Scanners. This video shows how to configure your website's e-commerce shopping basket. By the end of this introduction, you will be able to easily add and manage products and services for sale via your website, setting appropriate costs, shipping costs, etc. I'll start by showing you how to link items in your existing next-gen gallery to your store, which saves you having to format individual store items on a page, and which also takes care of paging. And then I'll move on to show how you can take full control of your store items formatting them exactly how you want, maybe with full descriptions of a service or product and multiple images. So let's get started. Here's the, oh, excuse me, that shouldn't be there. Right, here's the, the store, um, a temporary store we've set up which is selling dummy test prints. Uh, you can see that our shopping cart is empty. So we'll add a print so we'll add that in and we can see that we've got a print there and that's actually 25 pounds i'll explain why that's 25 and we've got a shipping cost of two pounds there in a in a second um if you want to add um another one we'll add the jellyfish print and we can see that the jellyfish prints in there as well and we can change the quantities of after we enter to, to accept that and we can see that the quantities quantities update as they should so let's show you how you can also delete um items from the shopping cart there so let's show you the back end how we how we set that up so here we've got our next gen gallery let's uh, go back and show you so i've set up a test store so these items here reflect what we've got in our nicely formatted gallery here and there's the images and these are the descriptions so example for example the desert print here we've got a description of desert print the br um basically means a line feed otherwise if we didn't have this the print would uh desert print and price would all be on the same line so that gives us a carriage return line feed um a price of 20 so this is just a description and then we need this tag here to link that product or service to your shopping cart so this here is very important so this part is the description you see we've got desert print 2 and that's why it showed up when we click add to cart it says desert print 2 as opposed to desert because that's the text in the description where the desert print 2 is what we've actually got in the tag and the price is 25 and notice that the price in the description is 20 so that's why it's showing up as 25 here. So we can fix that by taking out the number two and we'll put the price to 20. And then we'll save the changes. And then if we flick back to the website, let's just delete that from the shopping cart. And now when we add it, that print to the cart, we can see that desert print matches up nicely with the description we've set and also the price is correct. Having, we kind of call this the easy store because if we had more prints on here, um, it would page automatically for us. Um, so it's a very easy and quick way of adding products and there can also be services directly to your shopping cart. Um, what we'll do now is I'll show how to configure shipping costs for that cart so so we we'll flick over to the CMS and we'll click on WP shopping cart and here you can see all the configuration settings for your shopping cart this is the text to show when your cart is empty the shopping cart title and here is the base shipping costs which if we put five in there and click update options flick back let's just remove that from the store if we add this to the cart now we can see that we've got a shipping cost of five pounds so that value is set here so all of these are fairly well explained um, in the line items here and that basically explains how to set up your your easy store now what about if you want full control over your products or services I'll show you how to do that now so we'll be begin by adding a new page and we call this 
special offers and let me put the description in and we'll upload an image Anything will do. So there we've got the Sydney Opera House. So we'll put a medium image in there. And obviously, we could have lots of other smaller images, thumbnails. Um, if it was a, a, a print, it's going to pretty much look the same. But if it was another product, such as a some sort of object, you might want to take pictures from different angles and you could have full descriptions and the like um, you can set up HTML tables and spend as long as you like really formatting this page um, so let's put in a, a price on here I'm going to call this £20 uh, well £10 it's a special offer and I might want that bold I might want that to be underneath um valid for one week but you get the idea so you can have full control over this page um and then we need to put the the tag in which will link this product and the price to your shopping cart now these can be a little bit tricky to remember the actual tags it's just take those off so let's just publish that page so we've saved it and the way to remember it is if you go to the shopping cart configuration page here you can just simply copy the tag and then go back to your page and then configure it exactly how you, you want to configure it so we'll paste that tag in and we'll change the product name to special offer print and the product price which we want to set to 10 and we'll update that and we need to give that page somewhere to to live so menu special offers we'll just add that to the menu maybe have that just underneath the store let's save that and now when we click on our store we've got special offers and there's our our special offer and when we add that to the cart we can see that our special offer print is 10 pounds and you can set that up on pages or posts now at the moment the shopping cart is in the, the sidebar widget here um, which is all good and well but you may prefer to have the shopping cart exist your shopping cart items exist in the page itself and that's easy to do as well so it's just setting up another tag in the page so we'll go to our WP shopping cart configuration and this time we we'll copy the shopping cart show shopping cart tag and then we we'll flick back to our our page and this time we'll paste the show copying sh excuse me show shopping cart tag and we'll update the page and now when we see special offers you can see that the shopping cart has appeared on the page as well so you could have the shopping cart appear on multiple pages um, and we can also take it out of the, the sidebar widget if required and to do that is very easy as well so we go to widgets and here there's a simple widget which we can just pull out simple as that and then when we go back special offers on the rest of the website you can see it's disappeared on all the rest of the, the pages and it's only on the actual page or post where you've put the show shopping cart tag um, 
you, you may want your shopping cart to be a sort of top right as well so you can just drag and drop that up and here we go and there's the, shop, the shopping cart there so this video has shown how to add a product or service to what we call the easy cart basically link it to the next gen gallery which is very easy to do and um, you don't have to worry about paging um, so that's the quickest way uh, we've also shown how to add a product to a single page or post giving you full control of how your product or service looks and allows multiple images and longer descriptions we've shown how to configure your shopping cart set the shopping fees and your cart's title text I've also shown how to add the shopping cart to a single page or post uh, as we've demonstrated here and also how to add the, the shopping cart to your sidebar thanks for watching